Good morning, everyone. Don't you just love all of the beautiful decorations during the Christmas season? We see colorful ribbons and bows, bells, candles, stars, and lots and lots of angels. Hmm. Why do you think we see so many angels at Christmas time? Go ahead, answer. Those are all really good ideas. Probably the first thing we think of when we see an angel decoration at Christmas is that the angels appeared to announce the birth of Jesus to the shepherds. But an angel is important to Christmas even before Jesus was born. What do you know about angels? Answer, what do you know about angels? Yeah, one of the things we know about angels is that they have wings. So I'll tell you what happened. And whenever you hear me say the word angels, you're going to flap your arms like wings. Are you guys ready? All right. Use your listening ears. Our Bible lesson today tells us about a visit from an angel. Joseph and Mary were engaged to be married. Can you imagine the thoughts that came to Joseph's mind when he discovered that Mary was going to have a baby and they weren't even married yet? He probably asked himself, what do I do now? Joseph was a good man and did not want to disgrace Mary publicly, so he decided that it would be better to break off the engagement quietly. While he was considering this, an angel appeared to him in a dream. Don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife, the angel said. The child that is inside her was conceived by the Holy Spirit. She will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save the people from their sins. When the angel of the Lord had spoken and made God's plan clear, Joseph was obedient. He didn't have to understand how everything was going to happen. He didn't need to worry about what anyone else would think. Joseph trusted God and obeyed him. Sometimes you and I may find ourselves in a situation where we don't know what to do. Like Joseph, we may ask ourselves, what do I do now? If we listen, God will tell us what to do. He probably won't speak to us through an angel, but he will speak to us through the Bible. It's up to listen. It's up to us to listen and obey. Let's pray about that. Dear God, we are filled with joy by the many lessons we learn when we accept Jesus as God's son. Help us read your word and listen as you give us the answers to life's difficult questions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.